Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 872. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 869-872, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to see how to, uh, from a date a column with serial dates, how to create the quarter, either first, second, third, or fourth quarter. Now, Mr. Excel and I did a duel a couple weeks ago on this. And I'm going to briefly go over his and my form. And then I've got to show you a great other option from Schultz's Blues. At uh, He posted a comment at YouTube, and he said he got it from Excel form in uh, Germany. Now, Mr. Excel did this. He did the choose. And choose chooses between different items, right? And so he used the month. And the month function just takes a serial date and gives a number between 1 and 12, which is exactly what the index needs. And then what if it's 1, 2, 3? So he did the first value is 1, 1, 1, and then comma 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. Now he discounted this method. And actually, this method is awesome because this method will work if your quarters or helped in uh, creating a formula when quarters are do not directly line up with January, February, March, because you can put whatever you want in the values, right? All right, but for this situation, he called it punting. I called it awesome, right? Then I came along and did ceiling, and I says, okay, well we'll do the month, not the mod, the month. Same thing. It's the ceiling is going to take the one, two, three, five to twelve, and I'm going to round it up which is what ceiling does to some number, to the 3. So it will always give me 3, 6, 9, 12, right? And then you take that and divide it by 3. Control Shift tilde to wipe away that date number format and revert back to general. Double click and send it down. And then Schultz did this, equals month, month, what, month, month, of this ampersand zero close parentheses you got to be kidding me what does that mean all right so let's I'll see what this means because this is pretty esoteric let's first do equals month i got a minus sign in front of it and then i'm going to double click and send it down and then notice that's the inside part so we're going to ampersand zero here Notice it's coming out as text, but it is ampersanding, so it's giving us a little 80, 40, 10, etc. So I'm going to add to that 0 just to convert any operation on number stored as text, converts it back to a number. And notice what the inside, that's that little part right there. What? When you apply a date format, well, first, of course, because number one is January 1st, 1900. But by giving these uh, multiples of 10 up through 120, right, it's going to give us the first four months uh, in 1900, the year 1900. So then you just go equals month of that. Amazing. Can you believe there's all these different ways? This way, I love this way because you can change these. Uh, ceiling, okay, that's a good one. And that one's absolutely amazing. All right, we'll see you next trick.